Hello to everyone. How are you? This is Joanna and today is Thursday and I want to share with you what I got from Meyer. But really quickly since I didn't yesterday when I came in, I'm going to share with you as quickly as I can what I picked up yesterday. Um, one of the things that I picked up that I've been drinking on has been this little extra sweet tea. Now they do have the sweet tea in the gallon, but they don't make it in the extra sweet and sometimes I wish they would. That tastes a little bit more like homebrew tea to me. I did go ahead and get this strawberry cream cheese yesterday because I had the intent to buy some fruit today. And then I got this Bob Evans broccoli and cheese as a side because I didn't feel like the vegetables in a bag that I normally get, but I was able today to get the Ready Chef Go Mesquite Chicken Breast. And as you know, you cook this in the bag. So I bought this yesterday and I'm going to go ahead and make it today. I picked up another Chobani Old Vanilla Milk. They had a few more. I got the Natural Bliss Classic Caramel Creamer because, and this is creamer because I think whatever I picked up before was almond milk, but y'all know what I actually wanted was my Starbucks White Chocolate Creamer. They had none. The only Starbucks creamer that they actually had, which has never happened before, was that non-dairy, um, something caramel something or other it wasn't even the macchiato it was something else so i'm gonna wait till monday or tuesday and go back out because i do have white chocolate syrup i also forgot while i was out today to look for the white chocolate sauce and even though i don't like groceries and food from walmart you know i get bath care there cleaning things there i will get the white syrup it doesn't matter to me if it's Ghirardelli's or Tarani, but I do think the last one that I had might have been Ghirardelli. I'm not sure. I went through the um, white chocolate one pretty fast. I still have the salted caramel unopened. Those had expiration dates on them, so I might check those and replace them. I also was able to get the Smucker's caramel that I really like, but when it comes to the white chocolate, it doesn't matter if it's the Tarani or the Ghirardelli's. Got a little quart of milk there because I intend to use this with my Arafio Nespresso. Sometimes with those um, espresso pods where you only get like 1.5 or 2 something, something like that. I like to use milk instead, just the coffee itself, milk and nothing else. And then of course I got another Cherry Coke. So we're going to pause here and I'm going to share with you guys everything that I purchased from Meyer today minus what I forgot, my white chocolate syrup. Meyer is a huge store to me. And I went through there today, even though I've been in there a few times, I don't know my way around there, and I found that out today. I'm going to have to go in there when I have a few extra hours instead of running in and being back out by the next bus. So, we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so, we're going to start with the perishables, and in case something happens with the light, my phone is like on less than 50%. But we'll start with the perishables. Now, I did want to go ahead and get some fruit because I got that fruit dip. One of our nurses at work always has great stuff that gets me started. She's the one that had those cute little crocs I posted on Instagram. She also has those Yeti can coolers. I want a tall one and a short one. I just haven't decided what color. Those are pretty cool. They keep your cold drinks cold without ice, and you just put it right over the can. I do like those, and if I get that, I will share it with you here. Now, they had strawberries there. I wasn't too pleased with how some of them looked. Some were Meyer, some were another brand, and I saw these Ocean Spray ones, and I just plan on slicing these up and putting them into that strawberry dip that I just shared with you. And then I also, guys, got some... Driscoll's blackberries now these are for a reason if y'all know and you follow me on Instagram I showed what I believe is Smith's tea there was a blueberry no I'm sorry blackberry jasmine tea and it's really really blue and I ordered that today it was $16.99 I think they might make hot teas they do loose leaf tea they are brand new to me and I haven't tried anything from them I just ran across their page on Instagram and I had to try that blackberry jasmine tea y'all know that I have these bottles with the little fruit diffusers in them but I like my tea sweet um, except for that gold peak white tea whatever the sugar content is in that if I can figure out how to do that with that blue tea and my cane sugar syrup here then I will do that but I am a sweet tea drinker except for that one tea that I really really like um, but still I thought it was a beautiful blue color and I'm hoping it's as blue as when I get it. So in case it comes this week, 
I'm gonna go ahead and try to make that drink like they made it. I even got online, guys, and got the glasses like Alex, Alex had when I watched her coffee video. They're called Coca-Cola can shaped glasses, but hers actually had Coca-Cola on them. She told me she got them from a thrift store. I'll fill you in on that one if you don't already know, but if you follow me there, you'll already know a piece of that story. So I was gonna get chicken and sausage and bacon and pork chops or roast, all that, right? Y'all let me know if you've ever seen me haul a roast on here because I'm pretty sure that you haven't. I'm that one always going to the store to get the meat and get the goods. And y'all know that happens with me a lot. Well, while I was in there, because I didn't have time to run around, I figured I would get some sandwich makings. And I have been watching CC and HD talked about a grinder sandwich. She calls it a grinder salad sandwich. It looked good. I need to contact her and find out about that. I didn't have time to get that kind of stuff. But that sandwich looked good. And I used to be one for putting different sandwiches together. So it was right up my alley. So what I did get, just some little simple sandwich makings for this weekend. When I come in from work, I can make a sandwich and call it an evening. I picked up some lettuce and some tomato. Just standard. I picked up some provolone cheese. Just because I was going to get Harvardi. But I like to eat Harvardi slices by themselves. So I went ahead and got this one. And then I got this bread. I was going to get the sourdough bread. I love bread like this because you can cut this in half and that's your sandwich. Like just cut it like that. But I got the hearty grains and seeds. I love like brown berry bread. Um, that brand brown berry. So what I got was some chipotle seasoned chicken breast. Because I'm going to use all three of these together. I got some Hillshire Farms pastrami. And I got some uncured ham. Now I have mustard, but I might have some honey mustard or brown mustard around here somewhere. I will use that for these sandwiches. And since these are the perishables, we're going to put these up and I'm going to share with you what else I got. Okay, so I may be talking rather fast here. I don't mean to, but y'all bear with me. The first thing I got was this right here because I was missing a large drip pan. The small ones fit on my stove easily. I wasn't sure about this one because here we go again with this style A and B. And my stove name is not even one of the name brands. It's a brown. So I don't even know what that means. Neither one of the A or the B has my stove's name on it. I figure I'll just try it, and if it don't work, I can give it to the Goodwill. So the next thing that I got was these. That's kind of odd how they were all backwards together. I love the Land O'Lakes Hot Chocolate. I've been buying them for years, way before YouTube, and I may have purchased some during YouTube. I got the vanilla, the raspberry. Well, they have reformulated, I guess, and repackaged these. Um, they did not have these flavors when I was getting the hot chocolate except for the caramel but even these are a little bit different so here we have the arctic white chocolate cocoa mix and then I have a caramel and chocolate cocoa mix and then I have a french vanilla chocolate cocoa mix so I don't know how these are going to taste guys because I haven't had that formulation before but I won't be finding out until it gets cooler because I might have hot coffee every now and then but I won't go for hot chocolate until it's cooler this is for our friend kelly at work who is expecting now i wanted to get these in turquoise but that was six months to nine months and i wanted to give her something that she could use now so this is like three little pacifiers and i think if they still make them and y'all let me know because my kids are 33 and 23 if they make those little pacifier holders, I still have my son's. It's the cutest thing. I will get her those, and we want to get her some bottles. We want to put something together for her in a basket. She is a first-time mom, and we know that she's having a little boy. This right here, again, is something I don't know if this is going to taste good or not. It is a hot drink mix where I guess you put these in there. I haven't seen the full inside, but later on, I will be looking some of this stuff up on YouTube. So I'm guessing maybe it's a Keurig version by that machine, I'm hoping. So just something interesting. The other one was s'more. So if any of you have tried these, let me know. And then the next thing I got, again, for lack of what I wanted wasn't there, was I wanted the Folgers Colombian coffee. I think I have one Keurig of it here somewhere just one because when i get down to my last one i won't really drink it this one is the decaf one 
and I think it's this one. I've only got one of these. I wanted another one, so I'll wait till I go to Schnucks. But I did go ahead and get the Dunkin' Colombian because, as y'all know, I mix my protein powder in these. And then I got some wipes um, because I use these, you know, for that time that I should not still be having. And you've seen various brands out of me. I buy these a whole lot. I get the Huggies and the Cocoa Butter and in the sensitive um i find them you know more often than not i prefer these as opposed to like i think always has wipes i haven't tried them i don't use like the um tissue brand paper like Charmin wipes and things like that because I also saw Miss Shaughnessy's video and I mentioned to her that I use baby wipes this is the only baby item that I can purchase where I don't feel guilt <laughs> because there's plenty of wipes available um, and they sell the big giant ones now when I was working at one of my jobs before I had my son when my daughter was about six they had wipe warmers I didn't know about those. Um, a lot of the families bought them for their residents that we were cleaning with wipes because they would get the big bags of Huggies and things like that as opposed to the tissue paper for our bed-ridden residents. And by the time I had my son, I could not find one. So that was nice too. But I just go ahead and get these and I got the one pack. And they stay moist once I open them. So the next things that I got... This Earl Grey tea was on sale for $2.59, so I went ahead and got it. And Earl Grey tea is one of my comfort teas. As long as I'm not so sick to where I cannot stand smells, because this tea is really fragrant. It's a bergamot tea. It's delicious if you like bergamot tea. It's a perfect thing on a cold winter's day. I used to have a cup early in the morning before I take the kids to school or as soon as I would get home from work on a cold day. It's fantastic, but like I said, you don't want to be so sick that you can't stand smells because it is a fragrant, a pleasantly fragrant tea. And then these two are new to me. I just had to try these. I don't know what they're about. Chamomile, mint, and orange peels is in this one. They're caffeine-free. They're an herbal supplement tea. And then cinnamon, chamomile, and lavender. I don't know now. I see where these two would go together. I don't know about that, but I don't even care. I wanted to go ahead and try these. Um, Stress Therapy and Bedtime Bliss. I haven't seen these even in Schnook, so I will try to see if I can hold that where you can see it if that helps any um, for my people because I think what tea is supposed to have no calories anyway right I don't know but the boxes are really cute they're eye catching and we know that's what got me so if I can get that light glare off of there for you Yeah, so I thought that would be great to try. And the last thing that I got, which is what started my trip, um, and like I said, they didn't have my creamer. I got some batteries because I wasn't sure how many batteries I have. Even though I bought large packs of batteries last year, I either cannot find them or I usually have a few less batteries than I need, and I did find two. So I got these cute little wall clocks. And it's lovely that these are by batteries because since we've been having summer storms, the little two years that I've been here, this is the first year the power's been going out a few times and blinking. It agitates my alarm clock. So when the power goes out, I don't have a way of knowing what time it is because my alarm clock sets the wrong time. And of course, when we rely on our cable boxes and our microwaves and our coffee makers, all of that goes out. So because these are battery operated, these are going to be perfect. This one I'm going to put in the living room above the thermostat. And then this one, I was going to get black. I was torn between this and black. I'm going to put this one in the bathroom. This one's going to go in the bathroom. Um, I don't know exactly where yet. It has to be where I can see it. And then I may buy another clock for my room. And I won't need one for the living room because I have this one. But this one was $19.99. I thought they had one, but they had two. They're just a flat box. And then this one was $5.99. And it came in black, turquoise, and white. And they had other cute clocks. I may have posted those on Instagram. But that was it, guys. I just wanted to share my Meyer haul with you and let you know what I got and what I went back for. And if y'all have any information on anything that I got, please share. I'm looking forward to that. And when I get that tea... I will let you guys know how it is in case you're interested. It was Smith's Tea Company. And again, um, I know that they have loose leaf tea. 
the one that I ordered said that it was 12 one quart pods so I do need a one quart pitcher and I'm really hoping it's as blue as the photo because that would make it real pretty um, and I hope that it tastes good but we will see so until the next time I want everyone to have a great day